क्वेश्चन नंबर टू पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट थ्री सेवन एट प्रोटॉन एक्सेलरेटेड बाय पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस v इक्वल्स टू फाइव हंड्रेड किलो फ्लाइज थ्रू a uniform transverse magnetic field with induction b equals to 0.51 kc the field occupies region spaced d equals to 10 cm and figure is also given find the angle alpha through which the proton deviates from initial direction of its motion so the situation is like this there is a magnetic field in this region is magnetic field b the separation of this region is b there is electric potential of 500 kV proton is entering in this region from this point and it moves like that we have to find out this angle alpha this angle of deviation okay so when electron or proton any charged particle enters in a magnetic field let's suppose this magnetic field is moving down then it performs circular it follows circular path So suppose the radius of this path is r, right? So it will draw small line here. So you can see this angle is alpha because it is alternating. It will draw a diagonal here. So this angle will be 90 minus alpha. Hence we can say this angle is also equal to it. So ultimately, we are interested to find out angle alpha that how much this proton is deviated when it will leave the region, right? So if you look at this triangle, this perpendicular side is d, hypotenuse is equal to r. So we can say that from this triangle, sine alpha is equal to d upon r, where r is the radius. Course it is after that. So R is the radius of the path. Now we already know that whenever a particle moves in a magnetic field, uh, that is transverse magnetic field, then it will experience charge, a force Q V B, and start performing circular motion. So it will also follow the law of circular motion that is m v square over R. So from here we can say. That R is equals to m v over q number. So this is our second equation. Now still we don't have information about velocity also. So there is electric field or electric potential, right? So this energy half m v square, the kinetic energy obtained by the charge particle. Is equals to the energy provided by this field. If charge is Q and field is B, here B is potential. I'm like I'm writing like this. So from here we can get velocity. Velocity V is equals to two Q V upon m and in under root. So now we can determine equation number two and equation number three. And we may get the expression for radius r is equal to m over q v. I am taking it out into the velocity of charged particle, which is equal to root two q v. Here, this v is potential divided by mass. Okay. Now we can substitute in equation number one to get the sine alpha. So. Sin alpha will be equal to d divided by m over q v under root two q v over m. Right. 
So we can further manipulate this equation and we can say that sin alpha is equals to b q b divided by under root 2 m q into b. Now all these values are known. We have d. d is distance between these two. So d can be replaced as 0 0.1 meter. Q, charge of a proton, that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. Okay. And magnetic field 0 0.51. And potential that is 500 kilo so can be written as 500 into 10 to the power p. Now, if we substitute in this equation and solve, then we will get sin alpha is equal to 1 by 2. And from here, we will get alpha equals to 30. It means this proton will deviate by 30 degree from its original 